Greetings everybody, my name is Krim Grosen, or this character's name is Krim Grosen, and we're back with some more adventures, and uh, this guy has finally exited his house, and uh, we can now finally go in here. Uh, I'm sorry about the last episode ending with that glitch or crash, and now a lot of guards are coming our way, so we need to be quick and open up this door. Uh, Alright then, uh, we only have 5 in lockpicking skill. And we have 37 lockpicks, so hopefully we shall be able to do this. I'm not super skilled at this. Hmm. Nope. Okay, there we go. Awesome, just one more. Damn it! Damn it! Okay, good. This ain't easy. <laughs> there is a mod when every time you fail, there's a laughing crowd. <laughs> I laugh every time. Okay, we had a chance there. There we go. Perfectly. <laughs> well, not really perfectly, but yes, we're inside. Let's see what kind of sick shit we can find in here. Uh, we could actually go ahead and save over this one. Okay, shall we open this one? I don't want to do any more locks. Oh, a book. Mm-hmm. Biography of the Queen of Queen Barencia by Stern Gam Bog, the Imperial Scribe. Alright. Uh, well, if you want to read it, then uh, just go ahead and pause the video. I'm not going to, I just want the XP and all that. We could take some fruit, some shit, and brief history of the Empire. Version 4. Mm-hmm. This should actually be read, because we will know more about uh, the lore and all that. But you see, there is so much text, and I don't want another episode to be like episode 4, when I talked about uh, the wilderness with that long-ass text. I don't want too much of that. I know I said this ep I mean, I was going to make the series not so action-packed, but still, there is a limit. I can't just sit around and read for like 15 minutes, just plain text. Uh, not very fun. Hmm. Oh nice, we get a lot of XP to pick locks. Maybe because our skill is so low. Oh, some good old wine. More books. I think we already had that one. No, okay, we get more XP. Nice. Was that a guide to Skingrad? Alright. More of this. Ba -ba -da. Oh, that was the rested XP that gave us so much. Uh, I mean, double the XP. Okay, I think that was all of them. Hmm, okay. Even more? Uh -huh. More wind! Nice, this one I would like to read, actually. Let's see how long it is. Eight, ten, ten pages. Hmm. <sighs> ah, no, let's not. Oh, look at that one. 14 gold, yes, please. Let's just take everything that's worth a lot. Well, some of these books were. Uh, that one. 21. And this one as well. Mm. Oh, Bruma. Even more XP. Disaster at uh, Ionith. Mm -hmm. Holy crap, that's a lot of pages. Uh, but that's not worth so much. Okay, anything else? Ooh. Ooh, so nice. Sex. Nothing of use. Let's save. Yes. Broom. Plate. Can't sleep while trespassing. Oh, look at this. We got some clothes. Let's take all of it. All right, let's see. How will this one look? <laughs> no. Uh, this one. Oh, yeah. Now I'm not really talking. No, I'm going to go with my suspenders. Like a real man. So nothing of importance here. Probably in the basement, and that was another average lock, so... Uh, 
Not looking forward to it, but I guess we will have to do it. Out attempt. Oh, nice. <laughs> Only three uh, tries. And we gain a level. Amazing. Let's just go ahead and do it right away. Uh, level three. Yes, I realize that I'm now catching on to the secret of success. It's just a matter of concentration. All right, so one luck, of course. Uh, max the endurance, get more health. Um, personality, important. We need to talk to people and not have them hate us all the time. But maybe not five points. Uh, some speed would be nice. And intelligence is just the amount of magic we have. Uh, and we have the magic region with this. And also more fatigue, so willpower is more attractive to us. So to speak, uh, more strength. So we can carry more and do more damage. Now, hand to hand, increase that shit. Athletics, yup. Conjuration, illusion, restoration, we love it. And it's the cheapest ones to increase. Uh, security, we could increase that actually, but it's extremely expensive. Uh, but we need more sneak. A marksman. Yeah, 30 in marksmanship. All right. And now the game will freeze for like three seconds. Not a big deal. All right. And uh, we still have some XP over um, for the next one. Yep. All right, so we are level three now. The green Jesus with the steed and orc Krim Grosen. I like this. Um, I really like playing this game and doing commentary over it. And I hope you enjoy it as well. Or else you wouldn't really be watching right now. <laughs> I guess this is part seven? Six? Not sure at all. Maybe part five. I mean part six. Nothing of interest. Blue and green outfit, maybe. How does that one look? Now that's a little bit more my style. I like that. Green and blue mixes perfectly brown pants but i want my suspenders <laughs> and i want my green pants or these ones no that's cream grossen if i ever saw him in real life um okay i found my way into argamir's basement the place consists of an odd assortment of clothing and trinkets most disturbing is the dirty shovel and mud encrusted boots tucked into the corner and the bits of ground uh, bone meal stru strewn about. I suspect Argamir's stock he sells to Thornair is taken from the recently dead. I should continue to search carefully for more solid evidence into this grisly accusation. Okay, so he gets his clothes and all of this from dead people. Uh, no, not so fun. Not very fun at all. Macabre manif Manifest. I found a manifest that seems to detail names of the recently deceased, what they were bur buried with and um, their location in Cyrodiil. I should take this Macabre, Macabre? Macabre Manifest and confront Thornair as he might not realize where his merchandise is coming from. So he's not really the bad guy. He just took uh, a shady route of get getting his stuff, but he didn't really know what exactly where it came from. Yeah, we can see here. Hmm, what they have on them. Wow. That's why he said, I already have plenty of clothing. All right, I, I should take it. There we go. Um, crystal ball, skulls, drawer with uh, nothing of interest, bone meal, torch, pickaxe, some gold, why not? Cloves of recently dead, oh shit, that's, that's just sick, but good thing though, we have evidence, and this is the part where here we just jump in and um, find us in his house. Let's see if there's something of value in this one. Oh, wow, first try. Oh yeah, steel shield! A lot of money there! Uh, Greaves, sure. 
Good money. Yep, yep, yep. A lot of XP for that. Holy crap. Um, disable the sneak. Save. Run the fuck out of here. And it's raining. Lovely. So where can Thornair be? Uh, he should be at this shop. So we can just uh, run over there. Let's see. We are in um, the Talos Plaza. So we should run over to the market district. Uh, we're just gonna do a travel. I mean a fast travel. Here we are. And the game is kind of lagging. Because there's so many NPCs and uh, so much to show. And I'm recording this uncompressed. <laughs> at 60 FPS. So... Yeah, just have to deal with it. Uh, save, go in, talk to him, throw the book on his face. Look at this. Welcome back. Yeah, you know what? Take him from the dead. I can't believe what I'm seeing in this book. I'm mortified to think these things here were once on the bodies of the recently deceased. Mm hmm. It's just too horrible to comprehend. I don't even know what to say. I, I guess an apology is not enough. What can I do? Hmm, you seem like a good guy. Uh, help me catch uh, Argamir. Yes, that's the least I can do. First and foremost, I will never meet with him again. I can promise you that. Secondly, I remember him mentioning a place he had to be this very day. Mm-hmm. Hmm, yes, that's right. He said that he wouldn't be able to do anything else, as he had something important to do. You don't think he would dig up another... Oh, no, he wouldn't. But I guess he has been. Oh, my. What have I done? Mm. Don't worry, I'll stop him. Yes, you do that. And in the meantime, I'll decide what to do with all these ill-gotten things. I'm so sorry. Mm. All right, you are amazing, Thornair. I like you. Um, inventory? I don't even want to look at it for another moment. Hmm. Uh, Taken from the dead. I hope everyone can forgive me for not doing a better job checking up on my sources. Hmm. But why did you refuse to join the society? I hope you can forgive me. I had no idea. Maybe because you want to keep the prices low and uh, being with them will force you to keep it balanced, you know, with the prices. But he said he will help me find him. Where is he? Did he say something? Uh, had to be some... Had something important to do this very day. I need to check out the local graveyard. As the last name on the list was here in Imperial City. Alright, alright. So the book we have mentions a grave. Yeah, there it is. Let's see. I'm not sure at all. Cursed? <laughs> uh, Alright, Rotana. Rotona. Imperial City. Some uh, basic garbage, but with some gold uh, shoes, uh, silver necklace, silver ring, with blue stones. Alright, so a gravestone uh, for uh, Rotona. Or however you pronounce that. I don't give a shit! I'm gonna find this dude. I'm gonna bring him to justice with my bow. Are we gonna check on all these graves? No, not really. Okay, so is he here somewhere? I'm gonna keep an eye out for him. Because we can't really see names on these gravestones. So it's going to be quite hard to figure out where he... Uh, his target is. Hmm. Nope. But I guess... Oh, I noticed uh, that the door to the Trentius family mausoleum has been unsealed. This must be Ag Argamir's doing. I should proceed inside. Alright, alright, so he's inside. Okay, gonna get ready with Spooky. Gonna get ready with my bow. Gonna sneak. Let's do this. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. Uh, I should really talk to them first. No, oh, take, take. Okay. Uh, located him inside. It appears as uh, though he's attempting to 
desecrate another grave along with someone else I don't recognize. I need to convince him to stop this heinous act. Right, so we have saved. Let's do this the calm way. Let's just talk to them and see if they are okay with this. I had a feeling you'd catch on sooner or later. Mm -hmm. That's why I had this trap prepared for you. If you'll notice, the grave is already dug. Oh! This time, it wasn't to take something away from the graveyard. It was to add something. I'm afraid all I can offer you is an unmarked grave. Well, f thanks. Nope, nope, nope. No! Ah, I'm in this side! Spooky! Help me! Man, he has a full armored guy in here! How in the shit? You know what? I'm so mad. Berserk Rage! Yeah! You piece of fucking hay! Punch in the face! That's what you get, boy. That's what you get. Archimedes has been slain. Since the penalty for grave robbing is death, it seems uh, somehow it somehow seems as though justice has been done. I should should research the gravesite for anything potentially incriminating. Thank you very much. You are the best. And now I'm uh, berserked for like a minute. <laughs> uh, right. Hello, man. I'm gonna take your shit. I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna take your keys. And your money. And this guy. Iron longsword. Might as well just sell it. What do you have on? Just iron vampire. He was a vampire? And that's worth a lot of money. Oh yeah. That's the best reward we could ever get. Let's take this and sell it. Wow. So there's nothing in here, right? His shovel, his pickaxe. Hmm. Anything else? Okay, here are the graves. But I don't see the one in the book, so... Okay. And a sword. The Baser. What kind of sword is that? The Baser, worth 528. It drains willpower and endurance for 20 seconds every time you hit. And it looks pretty damn kind of cool. Alright, so we got a lot of shit for this. We got 2000 worth uh, armor. And we got the sword. Uh, are you just gonna... Are they gonna lay here? I guess so. So are we done with the quest? I should, uh, should search the gravesite for anything potentially incriminating. What could that be? Oh yeah, the shovel of course. Over encumbered. Oh, encumbered, I mean. That's not good. Uh, let's drop the, the iron sword. It sucks. Good. Take the shovel. I got the shovel, still damp with the fresh earth of the open grave. This is the final bit of proof I need of uh, Argymir's crimes. I should bring it back to Thornir. Or the guards, but okay. Nice. Uh, wow, the colors are very nice. Where is... Uh, there is the market district. Let's run there. Whew, this game... Uh, it's so fun. That quest line was... Uh, very interesting. I first thought he was doing something wrong, but he was just misinformed or not really looking into what he had. Just want to go the sheep way. And hopefully he will join uh, the society. Or just keep his own stuff. I don't really care. As long as he doesn't get his stuff from dead people. Alright then. There you are. I have something to show Hello, you. Hello, my friend. Were you able to stop Argomir. Yep. Um, here it is. His shovel. Then we can at last rest. I feared had he somehow bested you, I'd be next. Hmm. It is fortunate that your skills exceeded his. Oh, yeah. I've come to some decisions. I intend to donate all of the money I have made, as well as what is left of these stolen items, to the temple. Hmm. I also want you to know that I had a long discussion with Jen Seen. And I have decided to join the society. Woo! I realize you risked your life to give me a chance. And Thorinir never forgets things like that. Accept this ring as a humble reward. Oh, yeah. It's the least I can do to say thank you. Now, don't be a stranger. The copious coin purse is still in business. Nice. 
That's really nice. I have disposed of all my ill-gotten merchandise and replaced it with more expensive but carefully obtained items. Mm -hmm. That's right. You've shown me mercy. I won't forget that. Thank you. So we got some kind of ring. Let's see what it does. Here it is. Weather Ward Circlet. Resist fire and frost. 5% worth a ton of money. And it appears on our ring. So now when we punch people, they're gonna feel that ring. Look at it. So that's pretty nice. But the question is, should we get the money instead? Because 5% resist, not very much. But for now, we will use it. Now, I want to get over to the best defense, sell some shit. It's locked. Of course it is. And uh, this episode is... Uh, Pretty long as of now, so we gonna end it here. I hope you all enjoyed that um, that quest line as much as I did. In the next episode, we're gonna head out of here. We're gonna not be in the city so much anymore, or at all. We're just gonna head out into the wilderness. We're gonna explore. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna do something. Maybe the main quest. We shall see. And as always, feel what free to leave a comment. Here? Ever bought enchanting supplies <sighs> from Calendar? I haven't spent too much time. I hear it's the <laughs> Leave a comment if you want me to do something, uh, request, whatever. I love you, and this game loves you, and uh, Krim Grosan, he will punch all the spiders someday with his new ring. Um, see you next time, good folks, and have a great day.